The legacy of Mohammed Al-Fayed has come under intense scrutiny following a recent BBC Panorama documentary that revealed disturbing allegations of sexual abuse against him, with over 200 women coming forward with their accounts. This revisitation of Al-Fayed's controversial history has ignited discussions about his connection to the late Princess Diana, particularly regarding the warnings she received before forming a relationship with him. In the summer of 1997, as Diana vacationed at Al-Fayed's villa in the south of France, journalist Richard Kay, one of her closest confidants, attempted to caution her about the Egyptian millionaire. Having spoken to Diana frequently during her final years, Kay reflected on how he tried to alert her to Al-Fayed's dubious reputation, stating, had Diana heard one whisper of the appalling allegations against the man who so dazzled her, she might still be alive today. Diana had previously turned down invitations from Al-Fayed after her bodyguard, Ken Worf, warned her about him, labeling him as basically a villain and highlighting the potential difficulties her association with him could cause for the royal family. Despite these warnings, she later accepted invitations from Al-Fayed, leading to her fateful romance with his son, Dodi, before their tragic deaths in a car crash in Paris. Kay recounted a conversation where he expressed concerns about al Fayed's true nature, to which Diana responded, the Fayed she knew was a warm family man. However, Kay's warnings fell on deaf ears as Diana sought to understand the press's negative portrayal of al Fayed, leading him to declare, because he is a sleazy man. al Fayed passed away last year at the age of 94, leaving behind a complicated legacy. Following the recent allegations, Harrods, the iconic department store he once owned, issued a public apology to any women who experienced abuse at his hands and emphasized that the culture within the store has transformed significantly since his tenure. As these revelations continue to unfold, they serve as a poignant reminder of the importance of addressing abusive behavior and creating safer environments for all.